Joey's was in, invented for country boys boarding for, I think, way back in the 1880s or whenever it was. I, and I think about that and I think about the all the, the families that I know who've had uh, past uh, ancestors at Joey's. And, uh, and I think because uh, you're going from a country to a city boarding school and there's all these other children there that come from the city as well, and I think it's, a, it's not just the school thing. I think the city country thing goes further than that. I think it's a wider thing now where, you know, children, some children don't know where the milk comes from. You know, they think it comes out of a carton. Well, that's the good thing about places like Joey's, that you can, you can get the children up there and they can see for themselves. You know, they ride a motorbike and they ride a horse and they see a cow and, all that, and sheep and all that sort of thing. And it's a terrific experience and it was up to us country people to get those families out as well as because their hospitality to us was so good. And I think in the years going, going forward from now, I think it's going to be more important uh, for the, the country families to... Uh, be able to get the city families out as well, even in busloads. I think. Look, I, I and, and, and embrace the the policy that the school has with the um, you know the country connection and the you know to have the country kids there. It's, it's it is yeah it is a, a great thing. Like it's it's um, yeah not being an old boy, but I'm fully behind it. It's just uh, it's just the sharing and the and the sharing and caring of, of the country kids and the city kids wanting to help and know everything that goes on, and 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 now we've had a few dry times, and, and the school is so uh, so helpful. We really wanted to send them down, and we could have sent them to a country school, but you know it's all about getting some balance, and um, we've had a great association with some families in the city that you know they've looked after our fellows so well, you know, while they're there. Um, one of our boys, like Paddy, he used to go and let himself into the Dalton's place and um, even when no one was at home, he'd sit up there and be watching television <laughs> when Jane would get home. So, uh, you know, they've been really good in that respect and, and so there are people looking after the boys while they're down there because it's, you know, it's, it's easy to get worried about what they're up to all the time but, you know, you know that they're in a safe environment. Uh, they've got... They're actually, the city families are looking out for those country kids because they know that they're, you know, they're, they're a fish out of water, really, to start with. And um, and there's no doubt about it; it works both ways. We get, you know, we get some of those city boys up here, and you know, we've had some great times when they're in year seven and eight and nine. You know, they're all they've never seen any animals and never ridden a motorbike, and so uh, they get great experience coming out here. And, and it's the same when our fellas go down there. You know, they. Um, it's not like they've never been to the city, but you know they, they just they get that different side of life and get a bit of a balance. And uh, and you know they've got great mates from the city as well. The the kids also formed very good friendships with the with the city boys, and that was terrific because the city families, not just the boys, but sometimes even their families would come and stay with us because we were a hundred miles from Burke and we had uh, Shearer's huts and cottages so that the, the families could stay there and all join in together with riding motorbikes and horses and all that sort of thing, swimming in the water hole and that sort of thing. And some of the brothers used to come and stay too. And we used to enjoy that. They were great times. Yeah. <laughs> We've been really lucky to have lovely, made lovely connections with our city families down at Joey's through our involvement with Joey's. Um, very lucky indeed because um, we have you know, there's been city families that have taken our boys because our, our boys have been mates and just treated them like their own. They always had, they always had good mates, though, in, who, were the, who lived in the city as well. And I know that the grandkids, our grandkids, have spent a lot of time in a second home virtually who were city people and, and uh, very good friends, you know. So I think, I think that they've all blended in very well. They I think it's to. been good. I think it's been good to have that bit of <coughs> balance, and I think um, the yep. city parents understand how it is for the country. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it was it was good fun. It was good fun with a bunch of guys your own age uh, playing silly buggers as teenagers do, and we had a lot of fun. And 
you know, they're, um, they're my overriding memories. They're my lasting impressions, and that's why, that's why I'm, I'm, uh, I'm over the moon to be able to send my boys to Joey's. It was still uh, very, uh, what do you say, overwhelming, I suppose you could say, but uh, because uh, we'd both been to boarding school before, Richard and I had been to boarding school, and, and so had uh, Howard, the cousins, uh, families. We weren't intimidated by it. We, we, we were looking forward to it. We were looking forward to a new life, which it was for us as well as for the boys. And that's how it turned out to be. So uh, it, uh, while it was overwhelming, it was very... Um, I can still see all the lights and things that night when we were leaving. All the lights, you looked around, there was lights everywhere. Uh, and I thought, well, that's really comforting. I thought it was. That's how I felt. I didn't feel sad at all. I suppose, perhaps I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, no. And I always felt like that every time I went there and you'd see all the cars with their old bull bars and mud all over them sometimes and dust all over them and you, you, you felt like part of, the, part of the community, really. Yeah. No. Oh, no, it was... It was... Uh, a great experience and a great... I still say it was the best 10 years of my life because we made so many friends as well who we've still got and still... And our kids are friends and our grandchildren are friends. So it's been a wonderful journey, really. <laughs>